Daryl, you guys kind of took over in the first half with that 12-2 run. You guys were able to tally a bunch of turnovers. Could you talk a little bit about the defensive energy that you guys had in the, in, in the first half when you went on that early run to take the lead in control? Um, at the beginning of the game, it was kind of playing slow. Um, <coughs> they came out playing fast. Uh, and the pace that they was playing, I don't think we was ready for immediately. Um, <coughs> it took a little time to get adjusted to. Um, once we got adjusted to it, started switching screens and stuff, we was able to get stops and get out and run and stuff like that, so it was good. Daryl, it's been a, a while since you came off the bench. Uh, what was that like for you, and, and, and what kind of you know, sort of approach did you take when, when you got, got in the game? Um, <clears throat> every day we talk about being selfless as a team. Um, <clears throat> this team is deep. Um, only five people can start. Uh, as a competitor, you obviously want to start. Uh, but. Um, uh, regardless, I'm, I'm a play back. I'm a basketball player. Uh, I'm gonna come in and play. Um, try to help the team win any, any way I can. Um, and, and just do whatever I gotta do to win. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jacklitz Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck. Yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855 Big Dog One right now. To that point, how nice of the field to be able to come off the bench and provide that spark for the team and still kind of have that effectiveness as a starter without actually, you know, start. Oh, it was good. Um, I seen all the, the starters. Uh, Needed like a spark, needed something, needed something to get us going, um, and I just try to provide that. Um, they're confident in me. The coaching staff is confident in me. Um, just having leaders like Anthony and them just keeping me motivated, uh, keeping me confident and stuff like that uh, kept me going. And I just try to make a spark, make make some plays for the team. What stands out to you about Anthony in his last season? Maybe does he say anything before his the first game of his last season? Does he say anything to you guys? Um. <coughs> He doesn't really talk much as uh, no. <laughs> He talks more than when I came here. Um, it, it's just, I don't, I don't really know how to explain. It's just how he carries. So. Um, he, he's an individual who just lead by example. Um, when you go to him and ask him questions, he'll let you know. But, but on a daily, he's somebody who just lead by example. He come in every day. He's consistent um, throughout every game. He's just consistent. Um, and he, he, he knows how to motivate people. He knows what, what, get, what gets me going. He knows what gets Eric going. So <clears throat> it's just good to have somebody like, like him on your team. Um, he's reliable, and, and I love playing with him. It, it, what you're seeing from Sticks, does it remind you of when he went from being freshman to a sophomore at Mount St. Joe's in terms of the way he started taking off? Yeah. Um, Sticks, it, it's crazy. I didn't see Sticks when he was seventh grade, couldn't even walk and chew gum. <laughs> it, it's just crazy to just see his progress. Uh, he works real hard, um, and it, his, his hard work is just showing. Um, <clears throat> he's guarding guards. He's blocking shots. He's impacting the game offensively, inside and outside. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Um, but he got. He got, I think he has more. So I'm gonna keep pushing him. As a team, we're gonna keep pushing him. Um, He's just going to continue to improve every day. Why did you both walk and shoot down at what point? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, with, with the way last season ended and then the amount of conversation and expectations that have kind of surrounded this year, was there any sense of relief in, in just finally playing a game and, and getting started? Uh, for me, it was, it was more relief just playing somebody different. Every day in practice, we play the same players every day. Um, it was just good to compete against somebody else uh, and just see where we at as a team. Um, Holy Cross was a great team. Uh, and it, was, it was just good to play somebody else really 